Heather and I have been in this RV now for a year. Uh, we upgraded to a composting toilet uh, probably six months ago. I think we were in um, Galveston with our friends Zen Trippin. Installed this thing and turns out with three adult sized individuals, we're having to empty the water tank every day, literally every 24 hours. So um, we left the uh, black tank um, sewer pipe in place when we took the original toilet out in the hopes that one day we would find our time and um, route the pee, uh, the liquid, directly into our black tank. The reason we want to do that is, is we'll last about 20 days um, per change if we do that. So we'll be able to boondock a lot longer um, and when we land in state parks like this, which is a beautiful place, um, we won't have to make a trip over to the restrooms every 24 hours. So um, I'm going to show you the uh, pieces that it takes for us to do this and uh, I'm going to show you two potential endpoints into the toilet itself. I bought two just to see if one fits better than the other in this scenario. So uh, without further ado, here's the parts list. All right. So looking at the parts list, the most obvious thing that we have to do is plug the uh, three inch sewer pipe and then convert that to essentially one and a half inches. So this was what will actually go through um, the floor, the bottom of the floor, and then into ultimately through this device, which will help us secure that um, one and a half inch pipe to the floor, um, held on by these lag screws and washers, which you can see here. Uh, I left those there in the package for you so you can get the part numbers and what have you. I'm going to drill uh, a two inch hole using this uh, hole saw. And then I bought these parts. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well, but essentially I don't want such a harsh angle. Right now, the, um, the sewer pipe, the big black pipe, is at essentially a 45 degree angle. I wanted to do something much lighter than that so that we can have more space in our garage. Because right now, um, the pipe that's, that uh, is doing all this, or that big sewer pipe is, I'm just taking up a ton of space in there. I'm gonna see if I can get some of that back. And then um, I bought this pipe here, which is uh, one and a half inch. <clears throat> and I think it was a four foot piece or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it was. But really what I wanted to do is make sure that um, I had some you know, standard size piping and uh, the threadless fitting. And I'll use this glue, uh, the all purpose cement to hold it all together and hopefully that does the job we'll see uh, and then i mentioned that there are actually two end points that i'm going to try first is this one it's a cap um, it is intended for um, for plumbing like uh, under the sink plumbing to go uh, this abs plastic to uh, just like standard stainless um, um, piping but i wanted to see if this will actually fit really well uh, and hold a nice tight seal my concern is, is that the, uh, the, the liquids, as they age and as, um, as they age, and as it heats up outside, it's going to just really smell really horrible. So I want a nice tight seal if I can get it. Um, this is another experiment that I'm gonna try here. It is, um, um, I can tighten it up with this screw here and make sure it fits really nice and snug. You'll notice the holes are two completely different sizes. So it's all an experiment, we'll see what happens. Uh, there's a third option that I'm going to try too if, if those don't work, but um, as it stands now, this is the plan and these are the parts, so it's time to get to work. This is the sewer pipe and it goes right up in here. This is actually just a cap. Um, it's screwed on. It doesn't really go anywhere. You can get close enough in there. You might be able to see the floor that's underneath um, that this just kind of sits up against. So my goal here is to cut this right about here, as close as I can, um, put that cap on, and then uh, build the rest of the plumbing system up this direction. Well, that came off with relative ease. Let's see how the rest of the project goes. So, you can't see it very well, but there's actually an outline here of where the uh, jug goes that holds the liquids. So what I did is I just kind of drew a, a line around it, measured um, the center, 
of where that tub was and then in far enough to match where the liquid tank's center of uh, input is. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a two inch hole right at that point. And if all goes well, we'll have a uh, inch and a half um, PVC pipe, or sorry, ABS pipe coming through the floor here in about 20 minutes. Well, I guess there's no going back now. Take a look at that big beautiful hole. Look at that thing. What do you think, Heather? You excited about this? Oh yeah, look at that look. She just got up from a nap. All right, so the next step here is I've got to actually shave out a lot of this plastic so that the one and a half inch pipe will actually slide down. Uh, be secure, but not slide just through, right? I'm counting on this thing to actually help me keep the pipe from sliding through the floor. So I've got uh, a couple of really interesting bits. This is one of them. I'm gonna try that out. And uh, if all else fails, I've got an assortment of Dremel tools and bits, and I think we're gonna get the job done no matter what. So let's get rolling. All right, we did it. Looks like the project is finished here. You'll see that I cut the three inch pipe, um, welded it, plastic welded it to one and a half, used a 60 degree joint there, brought it back up here, another 60 degree joint, and into the floor. All sealed up, should be nice and dry by the time we get back from dinner. That looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. Having been my first ever like real plumbing job, doesn't look too terrible. What do you think? See that we had to make a little bit of a change here. Um, that piece was too big to go around there, and so what we had to do was cut it off uh, looks pretty good, I think. We ended up with three glide bolts there instead of four, but I think it does the job really well. Super sturdy, doesn't move at all. Super happy with that. So, I think that jug will be the last time I have to empty that silly thing. How about that? Direct to the black tank from a nature's head composting toilet.